Welcome back to Love & Hip Hop Atlanta, the reunion. I'm still here with Stevie, Mimi, and Jocelyn. Let me ask you this, Mimi. When Stevie gave you the ring, right, and we saw her whole breakdown, you were there for that, did you feel vindicated? It way? wasn't a vindication. It was typical Stevie J. That's the difference between me knowing him as long as I have and Jocelyn knowing him only a year and some change. Right. That's why I could laugh at it, because I didn't seen this before. Well, I couldn't laugh at it, Mona. I know, I know. we saw I know that it's for typical. Sure. I know it's typical Stevie J, and that's not the only... Oh, my God, she's done... Listen, that was nothing. That was a piece of cake. Trust <laughs> me and believe, my more thing that he's done, worse than that, it's just that you tell me, oh, I want to be your life partner. You put the ring in my wedding finger, but then you give your baby mother a friendship Steve... ring. And it, I, I didn't feel like... It was the moment. Well, that's a very big... good point. I mean, Stevie, none of that resonates for you, the fact that that was just horrible timing. He I mean, not that... Give a f you know, not care. that Mimi didn't deserve that ring and deserve the commitment that came with that ring. It's just that... Mona. Like, what is up with your Mona. judgment? I, I, my man. She asked me. Mona, I don't I get deserve the ring. I didn't want the You're ring. I'll get it back. The yeah. ring... No, I'm not gonna give you back. Guess what I'm gonna do? <laughs> I'm gonna pawn the ring and I will put in the bank account for our daughter. That's I'm not dope. gonna give you okay. a dime back. I was gonna back. do that anyway. I'm I'm not, gonna just I'm not, well, then I'm you shouldn't have gave it to me. You should have did that in the first place if that's what you were gonna do instead of pissing off your it's, girlfriend. It's all good. All Why right, would well, you piss off your girlfriend like let's that? Let's talk about that's this. Some ass <laughs> if you with her, be with her and stop disrespecting her. Be a better, be a better man. Be no, no. Be a better man to her than you have been to anyone else. Stop disrespecting her. He's no, I'm not a good bitch. You're though. only great when it comes down to business and money, and your beef cake is great, but that's it. So that hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. It ain't business. that great. Mimi, don't lie. It's it ain't good. that great. Because if it was, I'd still be f***ing <laughs> them too, and I'm not. I have a conversation about something. No, I'm glad you can have a conversation the, the about is, something. Thank you. Listen, let me tell you something. I can't I, listen, give no words listen, to this. Believe it or not, would I want to have a baby from Stevie? Yes, I would. Would I, like, would I like to spend the rest of my life with Stevie? Yes, I would. And I always say this. Stevie doesn't know how to treat a woman because he didn't have a mother. Okay. okay. Yeah, so, oh, when well, you don't have a... Minutes. Let me you speak. Don't. Let me speak. Right. You don't. When you don't have a mother, even with me, I have a mother, but she didn't really teach me anything. So, it's like wow. everything that I go, anything that I do in life, I have to learn on my own. And then that hurts me, too. Right. That hurts me because I, I never had nobody to teach me anything. And he knows that. I teach you. You know, so I... It, it gets me... It gets you me cannot really, teach a woman anything. Stop it. It gets me oh, really... Shut your lot. ass up. I teach you a lot. Stop I taught it. you a lot, Stop. Too. You didn't teach me... I'm older than you. You it ain't teach matter. me nothing. Shut your it's ass up. You, oh, you didn't take me from nowhere. Stop I had my screaming. own business and been my own stop woman. Screaming. You didn't teach me anything. We got somebody coming. Stop. And I even, stop and I even you hate the fact that, something. You I didn't teach me that he does that. Right. Yeah, I even hate the fact that. that he does that. I mean, it's stop interesting to see. It's interesting to see Stupid. here that you guys have been Stupid. at such yeah, odds, but here in this moment. You know what I'm saying? You guys, you can actually empathize with what she's going through. I can empathize with her. You know why? Right. Because I came from the same thing. I didn't right. have a mother either. My mother gave me up to a religion when I was 13 years old we and I heard was out about on my that. own. Yeah. I, get, I get it. I, I totally empathize with her and what she's going through. What it is, is she's a, a young girl and he's manipulating her and he does. Oh, he does. Yeah. He does. He does. And you know why he does mean me? But I'm I, also, I also understand that I can't dwell on everything that he does. I gotta move on. You gotta move on. And if it doesn't work out with Stevie, I still have my career don't let and it, I don't still let have. Get you no, like I'm not letting don't her. Let I'm not letting her. I'm not letting her do anything. This is not about Mimi. This is not about Mimi. I'm not trying to get to her. Mimi, just talking to her. let me tell you something. You know me. I'm the hardest bitch. You probably know it. Everybody know that. And I know that he makes the situation worse a lot of times. But it does not matter because I'm not dwelling on what Stevie's doing. I can't. I don't think about the negative. I'm thinking about where I'm going, so I'm not even thinking about Stevie or anything else. That's but you, but not you do me. love Stevie. Yes, I do. And you do want to be with Stevie. I do love Stevie. So but... then, Stevie, I'm going to give you a moment here to do the right thing. I just want to hear from you for a minute. Right now, in front of me, in front of Mimi, in front of the audience, and in front of the viewing world, are you and Jocelyn engaged? Is this the woman that you're going to spend your life with? I like the way you handled that, the way you want to try to put me in the other. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me a second. It's a simple yes or no question, Stevie. Are you, and look at this woman right here, are you guys engaged or not? <laughs> no, I'm rocking my ring, you know what I'm saying? You're rocking your ring because it's a Cartier ring. Are you engaged? I got my own diamonds. No, 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 don't go left. Don't let him go left. He's going to go left. Please don't go left. 
Don't go laughing. I know why you're rocking the ring. Let's be clear. Do you want to know once and for all? I mean, I'm sure he says one thing to you in private. We got what we got. We good over here. Justine, do you want to know once and for all? Do you want to hear him say it to the world? Yeah, I do want to hear you say it to the world. I do, because you tell me, I can't live without Jocelyn. I can't live without Jocelyn. You cry. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And you always tell me that you're going to spend the rest of your life with me. And he says the same to me, girl. I, I believe say, it. I, when was the last time? You say the same. I miss you. I miss my Mimi and my Eva. I miss Mimi and you, Eva. You say yes, the same yes, yes, yes. Do I say I want to spend the rest of my life with you? Yes, you do. Huh? Yeah, you do. I probably did a couple years ago, right? No, no. Stevie this J, I'm going to set it up for you one more All time. Right, Here man. we go. All right. Stevie J, on this stage right now, right, right. in front of Jocelyne, myself, Take Mimi, me and the whole world, world, the viewing audience, and the viewing world, are you and Jocelyn Hernandez engaged to be married? Stay tuned for Love and Hip Hop. Gotta watch the whole, the whole joint. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Well, coming up, we've got more Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, the reunion. So don't move. Hey guys, it's your girl Carly Red. Subscribe to VH1's new Love and Hip Hop YouTube channel to keep up with me in Atlanta. Yeah. <laughs>